Hello. So today we'll find something quite interesting I want to share with you. Is that I find risk V generally is very bad, very bad code for the thing here. So I have a SHA 512. The reason I picked that example is because mostly most architectures they don't provide a support for SHA 512. But I just use SHA 512 as an example to to show the example I want to problem I want to address here. So, you know, recently, you know, just yesterday, okay, I find this new architecture that gets added into GCC, and which is an even Linux kernel. It's just a bunch of patch for two, probably two days of Linux kernel of Long Arc, uh, Long Arc sixty four Linux kernel. Long Arc is a new architecture. Uh, just created someone created that yes uh, last year by by China is because the U.S. and China have the trade war here, right? It's co new Cold War thing here. Then China say the, some Chinese companies saying we're creating a new ISA to pr we're not going to use Risk Five whatever. Oh, uh, we are not going to use ARM. But then there are then some people are asking why they are not using Risk Five. It's one particular reason I find they, they, they said is because they believe Risk Five is a very bad ISA. Let's just verify their 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 uh ver verify their. Uh, I just want to tr just try to figure it out how fast this architect this ISA itself might be might be okay because I don't have a machine I don't know how fast the machine is I, at all okay so I'm not saying the absolute performance will whatever because I don't have data I don't have hardware I cannot say anything but I just want to just analyzing something based on the instruction set okay so we usually just use a bunch of cross torsion right first we mostly we would use is something like lit like a, a Linux cross torsion um, I can use a mark native but I will first not use that because if I use that, I would like to, uh, I put it as uh, x86, 64, okay, so txt. Then we just open the file, just port it here, okay. So how many instructions it has? Yeah, one th uh, plus all the tables here, you have 1,600 uh, instructions. Well, because x86 also adds a bunch of things here. The problem with x86 is actually not the problem with risk with the Cisco risk thing here. It's mostly a lot of other problems. But here's the thing: I'm why not not compiled with MRC native. If I compile it with MRC native, uh, or not as MRC native, just some sort of thing here. Mm, I think it's probably gonna use SSD. Yeah, how many instructions it has? Yeah, much shorter. Well, and also, R O R, yeah. So if you're not compiled with as with the MRC native, the compiler cannot use the uh, R the R uh the the register here, the extra register with R O R X. Right, but if you just compile with it, you will use it and. I did optimizations to the SHA with SHA five hundred twelve with, uh, with the, uh, SIMD whatever. Then you can see something like that. Uh, we can have a discussion on whether my implementation is fast enough, but that's, uh, I I believe is it should be fast enough for at least faster than, crypto plus plus on, for the for the stuff. Mm, whatever. Uh, our ARM is run fire very, very fast. I have, very, I have verified on my ARM machine. It's, it's just as fast as uh, open access or probably one or two percent slower because the GCC as compiler cannot just optim just cannot uh, allocate a register very at the best way. So there's some issues with the optimizations. Which is again prove why you have no zero overhead abstractions. You, if you want the fastest code, you probably always need assembly. But if we're using ARM, for example, what we get is a thousand around a thousand instructions. 
plus the table here. It doesn't matter, right? Because table, every part is table. And you can see, I find it quite interesting with ARM is that you can actually put two instructions together with the ROR, <coughs> right? So ARM allows you to, to combine two instructions with each other, right? You can, you can put EOR with ROR and makes it a huge win. Plus ARM has a, a around 30, 30, I think 32 registers probably. How many, how many registers do you have? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let, let's just try risk five, okay. It shocks me, you know. It shocks me, it generates a thought. See this number, okay. A thousand? versus 1,830 and 60. Which means if you're using risk 5 let's just assume every instruction runs at the same performance, probably not, risk 5 will run 1.80% more instructions than ARM. Or probably this is not just 80%, probably this instruction. I don't know how much instruction would the kind of compound instruction have, but, but it's, it's it just generates a lot of instructions, right? I, and I find quite something quite interesting with that is that I, the GCC would emit calls to B swipe DI here. Um, the reason they do that is because on ARM, okay, on ARM, I'm not on risk five, okay? The basic instruction set they don't have by swipe. You cannot, you, you don't have by swipe instructions. And in this particular example, we need to do a lot of ROTR and ROTL. It doesn't provide that either. It has to emulate with left shift and right shift. There's no ROTL and ROTR, something like that, instructions to match the behavior of 620 in risk 5 Which means if you're wrong SHA-512, using risk 5 will be very, very slow. Okay. Now they are saying they have some extensions, whatever, but why would you put those things in the extensions? Let, let's just see what the long arc would do, right? The, the, the so-called, right, the, the Chinese instruction, right? The Chinese ISA is doing. Just the new, the new ISA. Because they say a long arc is, the risk five is very slow. And let's just go and see that. So long arc generates 1,260, which is, which is, which shocks me, right? First, long arc is just a new architecture. It just add, gets added to GCC probably to less amounts, I think. Not even amounts, probably just see this amount is doing. And GCC probably cannot optimize it in, in the best way, right? Because architecture differs for each other. Particularly for new, new architectures, you're probably going to apply more general approach, not some specific optimizations to the particular platform. But even with that kind of approach, you can see long arc generates a thousand... I just use long arc versus risk five Because a lot of philosophy of long arc will just come from risk five they basically just, even how they are in, uh, encoding instructions, how they're doing things are quite similar. But we can clearly see long arc generates much better instructions than risk five and also more readable instruction, right? We probably, no one in this room, is, in, my, my audience probably will understand long arc, but ever read or write any along before, but we can have a basic understanding of what they're doing, what they're doing. But here I'm just saying as LDSD, what, that, what, what the fuck is that, right? So in the basic instruction set of long arc, they include RTR, RTL and byte swipe. Well, this is a byte swipe here, right? So even with a new architecture, just one year more architecture, with very few, basically non-optimization from the compiler side, generates 
How many? How many? How many more instructions? How? Yeah, probably forty percent fewer instruction, right? Just one hundred long arc. One thousand eighty six TT. Um, it's uh, just 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 a, a thousand, right? A thousand around a thousand, a thousand and four, something like that. Right. So, uh, S eighty six. You know why x86 would generate a lot of instructions? That is because it's because uh, x86 only has 60, 16 general registers. Plus, you they don't have the three. If you're using including the basic instructions, those sim some modern instruction works. If you have, you don't have the the the, 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 the uh, three op three ops. Three operands of RR version of RR, and now you have around a thousand and a hundred fifty because it only have sixteen sixteen general registers. Now we can see even with with just risk five, people love to talk about how good risk five is. It it actually generally was a somebody here, you know. Now you might say uh, uh, ARC64 is the best architecture. I get. I don't know because I don't know how much of that kind of compound instruction will cost. I I guess it would take two cycles. Maybe they have some magical tricks to make it run faster. But I guess if the in reality, if you if the manufacturer of both architecture try to they have the same technology, they would probably this run very close with IARC and long arc. And Risk Five would run slow as fuck. Okay, it runs slow as fuck. The reason is why I I believe it runs very very slow, is because first it has function calls in it. It has function calls in critical paths f just for by swap, okay, which is ridiculous, right? We know by swap is very common. Even not not just that, you you always need to do by swap in your networking code, right? They all need by swap. But the compiler would do it just emit a function call, because the architecture itself doesn't support that. It has to do something. It doesn't support RTL, RTR either. Some people are talk talk talking about it probably not even support multiplication. I don't know. Maybe maybe this this fucking architecture doesn't even support multiplication. Let me let me try whether it it does have multiplication. What kind of assembly? I mean, if it doesn't, it just supports uh, multiplication with a very shit, shit thing. Then, uh, then there's a sh definitely a shit architecture. Mm. We could just call move. Okay, we move move SS. Okay, to provide uh, for a conflict. Then we just uh, yeah, always mark no except right. Let me let me see what the, the assembly will generate, and what kind of assembly it will generate. Under uh, I don't know what kind of assembly. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, it does support multiplication. Some people told that he is he's wrong, but it doesn't support RTL, RTR. Well, they are they are they are, the excuse they are making is that these instructions are not uh, they want to be minimum. They don't want to include any instructions they don't need. Some probably may not need, but if you're doing that, then how come we got to write code? 
how can I write hyperlinked code? Should I write different versions with same same code just to detect your architecture? Should I just do something with it? And even with that, it's still a draft. I I advise. I know it's a draft. I don't know whether it's possible to making the compiler generate code like that. So, bit operation proposal risk five. They even put bit bit operations as as working drafts. You know. Let's just see what kind of instructions they have. Okay, the it's just not even a year. Probably not even something get merged into compiler. You probably not even you cannot even use it. And even you using it if it's already not backward compatible. And we can see what kind of instruction they is some kind of uh, extend extension. Okay, is extension. Okay, with speed operation. RL RL. Okay, RL and RL will only be in next part phase, which is quite ridiculous. Why why you don't put, even put that with the basic instruction set? Even the new architectures like long arc would would do that before you, right? You you you've said you're the best architecture. You're not. Uh, I say best, best. I say. What? Okay, all combined. Carryless. Okay, this is probably for cryptography. Uh, for for AES, whatever we are talking about. Uh, we're doing you more thing here. But we have a long time to even use them. They don't provide that. Let's just want to try. RL. Okay, this basic C plus plus twenty stuff. They don't correctly support that. Which C plus twenty bit, they don't correctly support it. Risk V is just very bad architecture, right? Shift one and add. They put all this basic stuff into extensions, you know. Then you create bunch of different ABIs. If you try to compile one program and run everywhere, you're not going to do that. Right, you basically making different architectures theoretically. Whatever. There's no one use Risk Five, despite people saying, "Hey, Risk Five is good." Nobody's actually use that. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Just like everyone just advocating hu that human rights language. I'm not saying which one. They're not going to do that. Oh, sorry. I didn't put put my screen here. Yeah, probably you can just go and read by, read read by yourself what kind of instruction it has. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, go to this website. Go go you can see that they put that as extensions. You know, they put that that, that extensions. Let me see what kind of just hold the display. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, they put that in in the extension. Okay, risk v proposal. Okay, this is a proposal. It's a draft draft on R O R. Okay, no carry, no add carry. People complain about uh, query. It doesn't have that. It doesn't provide that, <laughs> and it doesn't make your code run faster. It generates much worse assembly than 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 uh, a compatible. Uh, uh, I say, why would people defend that? It's ridiculous. It's a bad architecture. Okay, uh, that's about the videos.